My name is Arthur Garpedian. I was born in Niagara Falls, New York, and I've lived here up until about 20 years ago when I built a new house for myself and my wife in Lewiston, New York. Big move, six miles. My grandfather and his family grew up in the village of Lisk in Vaughan, Armenia. When they had industrial art shops in elementary school and in junior high school. And uh, I did, and also at the boys club, I learned woodworking. Then uh, in, ju in junior high school, you had to take a shop, well, I, uh, four shops. And uh, I t wanted to take carpentry along with three others I selected. And I think I mentioned this to you. The guidance counselor calls me in and said, you know, we looked at your academic record and you're really not college material. And I said, I don't want to go to college. I want to become a carpenter. I want to go to trot. And they signed me up right away for carpentry. Well, it was one of the best decisions I've ever made in my life because I've had a great life as a carpenter, right? You know, I ended up teaching carpentry at my Elma Mater, Trot Vocational, right? I graduated in 56, went back there in 66 and started teaching carp, teaching blueprint reading for all the trades at the school. Well, you know, when I was teaching, uh, I ran a night school program for adults, right? And uh, I met a, a guy named Andrew Del Signore. Well, we became very good friends. When I retired from teaching, I told my wife, I gotta open up the shop. Andrew was still alive. I was building my house at the same time, and Andrew helped me build my house. Then this property became available, and I bought it. And then all the equipment that you see here is the equipment that I used in the school and I bought it from the school when they closed the carpentry program. The planer, I got a joiner, I got chop saws right here, uh, work benches. Well, like I say, the church doors, I've done other church doors, right? I'm doing a door for a restaurant called The Market Side, mm -hmm. right? And uh, we've done dining room tables, uh, chairs, we do a lot of repair work on furniture. Each job is different, but yet at the same time, I tell these guys here, you got to remember what you're doing. Because even though I'm making a door over there, here I did a job for a friend of mine, he's going to finish it. I'm just doing the rough work, right? There's a procedure you go through. You take the rough lumber, right, and you run it through, well, you cut it to length, you run it through the joiner, through the planer, through the table saw, then you glue the pieces together, you know, and you got all these different tools that you're working with to make sure that the job comes out properly and right, you know. Well, a friend of mine, George Belusian, there's this picture right up there. His sister Alice was dying, you know, and she said, ask our if he could make new church doors for the front of the church. And so I said, yeah, okay. So I made the doors and we hung them and everything else. We made them right here in the shop. We hung the doors and everything. And uh, Alice came out of the hospital and she told her brother George, George, drive me by the church. so that I can see the doors that Arthur made. And George told me when she passed by in the car, she started crying. Well, when Alice died, George came to me and said, what do I owe you for the doors are? And I said, George, you owe me $4,000. He says, okay. I said, are you nuts? I says, I'm donating that, right? And my time, and the time of my guys who helped me do it. Uh, 
I think, you know, there were, uh, at, through the church, we're a close group of people, mainly because we each have our lives and things to do. But, you know, when we're at the church, we think of all the history that our families have gone through. You know, everyone has had the same sensation through their parents, grandparents, great-grandparents, right? And, uh, and we take pride in it being Armenian. And that's our history that we pass down.